While the British people celebrate 70 years of Queen Elizabeth II on the throne, it seems that a one-year-old, her namesake, is on the Queen's mind. So, did the Queen finally get to meet little Lilibet? Keep watching! The Queen's Platinum Jubilee is in full swing after many months of anticipation. As People notes, from June 2nd to June 5th, Her Majesty's historic 70-year reign will be celebrated with a variety of events, including her birthday celebration, Trooping the Color, a Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral, and lots more. Although the Queen has had some health issues in recent months, she's expected to appear a handful of times over the weekend to celebrate with fellow royals and the public. According to BBC News, fans who gathered to catch a glimpse of the longest reigning monarch in British history were overcome with emotion. As one onlooker gushed, seeing Her Majesty is something I've wanted to do all my life. This is one of the things that only comes around once in a lifetime. Um, so will probably never happen again. Clearly, the Jubilee is a landmark moment for Elizabeth, but The Telegraph notes it's also an opportunity for the royal family to come together in their largest gathering since the 2018 wedding of Meghan Markle and Prince Harry. The Queen's public interactions with her great-grandchildren have already delighted fans, especially as she chatted with a misbehaving Prince Louis on the balcony during Trooping the Color. It seems that if anyone can get a bored four-year-old to stop making faces for a moment, it's Her Majesty. Of course, all eyes are on the Queen's interactions with the visiting Harry and Meghan. Some onlookers claimed that one introduction might save Meghan and Harry's relationship with the royals. And now, we know that it actually happened. According to the Daily Mail, Queen Elizabeth and her great-granddaughter, Lilibet, whose name was also Her Majesty's sweet childhood nickname, were finally introduced in Windsor, immediately following Trooping the Color. All eyes are on the Sussexes during their first trip back to the UK as a family, following their spectacular defection from their royal duties. But thus far, the trip has been surprisingly low-key. The celebrity couple is staying in their old digs at Frogmore Cottage, also in Windsor. They made their first major public appearance of the weekend at the Thanksgiving event at St. Paul's Cathedral Friday. Royal expert and biographer of the Sussexes, Omid Scobie, was the one to confirm the two Lilibets had finally met during an appearance on BBC Breakfast. Regarding little girl's first birthday, which falls over the weekend, Scobie said, I think people are expecting some sort of big birthday extravagant event that we're going to see photographs from. From what I'm told, we shouldn't expect anything." As the royal commentator explained, Those moments with Lilibet are very much private between them and the Queen, and of course we know how much she's been looking forward to it. Scobie says Harry and Meghan don't want to draw too much attention to themselves, lest they steal focus from Queen Elizabeth. The couple reportedly arrived in the UK on a commercial flight Wednesday, with a spokesperson confirming to Page Six they were looking forward to celebrating with the Queen. In the run-up to the Queen's Platinum Jubilee, rumors swirled about whether Harry and Meghan would be welcomed with open arms or snubbed by the rest of the family. As The Mirror reported, Harry's older brother, Prince William, was concerned that anything he said or did at the event could later be used against him in one of Harry's lucrative Netflix projects, or might even pop up in Harry's upcoming memoir. William and wife Kate Middleton were also reportedly worried the Sussexes might try to steal the spotlight from Her Majesty. Page Six notes that Harry and Meghan aren't allowed to bring Netflix cameras into any of the palaces or official royal residences during their trip. They were also prohibited from joining the Queen on the balcony at Buckingham Palace for Trooping the Color, The Guardian reports. Yet, the royal defectors appear to have been greeted with enthusiasm by the Queen herself, if no one else. The Irish Sun confirmed she'd arranged for them to be picked up from the airport upon their arrival in the UK, and they received security protection accordingly. It remains to be seen whether the Jubilee will bring the full royal family together again. But considering how eager Her Majesty was to meet Lilibet, and how well their meeting appears to have gone, there's no bad blood at the top of the royal line. 
Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more list videos about the British royal family are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.